hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing our php blog series and now guys in this video we are going to view the post so as we have seen in previous video part 21 where we have view all the post by the category wise and now in this video we will be viewing this post if i click on this php insert data into database so you should view that data guys so now let's begin with it so let's go to our post.php so yep we have the design over here guys so let's use the same design which we are using in our view of post okay by the category so now let's copy the same design and same code we will modify from it so let me just move okay so guys now let's copy this full code and paste that all set so one by one we will solve it guys over here let's minimize first so first step you are going to check the title where we are going to get from our post so when you click on this php insert so php insert into database that title so let's copy this and you have to verify it so if the title is present then you will show if it is not present you are going to show no such url font so let's test this first condition so guys let's mess with this url direct i'm going to click you can see no such url font okay so let's move again open and here you are coming this data is coming because it's in the second condition let's move and now you are getting the title and now guys you are going to get the post data so what data you will get from here your title data okay so this title you are going to search from the post table so you need to remove this record instead you have to pass something else so let me just show you inside this if condition we are fetching from here so let's take this data and paste outside let's do it here copy and ch change this method so let's remove this also so now guys you are going to not repeat this again you are going to remove this else also let's change this all set instead of no such category found you can tell no such post found so yep then here your post runs and item shows and now we are going to remove this instead we'll add directly star because we need many data from here so let's save and now guys you can see the output so let's save and get back let's refresh undefined variable category id let's remove that where it is so instead of category here you have to search for the slug and this is your slug guys let's paste that so this slug is nothing but your post url so you can just find in your post table where is this slug guys okay let's refresh now and see perfect so we are getting this data but we want to view the full detail like its description all okay so let's get back so first step guys let's create one card header and i don't need this a tag let's remove this all set so inside this card header you will view the heading and then your card body so let's take this card body and paste inside this div tag let's tell over here okay so now guys you can create a div for your description part which so let's copy this and here your description comes like this is your description so type that description let's save and refresh so we, perfect guys so we are getting our description part data so now let's add one horizontal row to make this difference so if you want to show that hr 
All right. So let's move to Google Chrome and we are on PHP. Let's view here. Perfect. So we have got the data guys all set. So if you want to know how to post your description and all we have done over here. So let's get back. And one thing I have done from here guys, that is your in your post edit.php inside your admin. I have just added one code. Let me just show you that. So inside my edit post edit under description. So you can find this HTML entity. So which I wanted to convert all that in HTML entity and then show in your summer note. So which helps you to show the correct output. Okay. So now guys, we are going to uh, import the image. So before the description, let's call the image. Open image where SRC is equal to what we have posted. Let me just show you inside our post. So this is our post. We have viewed this right inserted the image. So you can just open a new tab and copy the path. So we need this path, copy this path. So let's get back, paste here. And this is your file name. So directly we are going to echo the file name. That is your dollar post items array of image. Okay, so you can just verify your DB column name. That is your image image. Okay, so yep, let's get back. And you can mention the alt alt where you can give the post name guys. So this helps you to grow your website. Okay. So let's refresh. Cool. So you can you got the image guys, but if you want to give the validation, I mean responsiveness, let's let's add the class where worth hundred refresh that's it so if you want to you can optimize your image and paste it perfectly and then begin with your data guys so let me just keep this image as 25 right now let me keep it to small refresh perfect so now guys what in case if you don't have image let's move it second one where you can see that there is no image so at this place you can give a if else condition over here So let's copy this PHP close PHP use if condition if your dollar image not equal to null if it's not null then you're going to view the image let me just okay so let's use different coding here give colon and end php open php let's give and if so if image is not there then you don't need to show guys so let's refresh perfect so we have got the output guys so guys in this video that's it we have successfully completed our blog view with the image and data so guys let's continue next video with our like what is the use of this your meta title? How can you use this meta title and all? So for your post view or this your post category that is your PHP blog. So SEO part will be doing in next video. So guys in this video that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe like and share.